Well, the Ralston baseball team kicks off their season without their number six. Senior Tanner Farrell, a transfer from Millard West, wore that number. The 18-year-old died in a shooting last week. Today was the first game for his fellow teammates, and KETV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy shares the impact Tanner had both on and off the field. For the community, it's shocking, but for Tanner's family, it's all too real. The types of things that you see in the movies or you see on news and you think, man, that's terrible, you, and then it, then it happens to your family and you, and you think, wow, this is real life. The 18-year-old's death takes a toll on just about everyone, from his teammates to his coach. It's been uh, emotionally exhausting mentally exhausting and it's physically exhausting. This whole week's been kind of rough, but coming here really just kind of gets our mind off things and really focus back to what we get good at doing. Head coach Tom Cooper says the team is healing the only way they know how, through baseball, getting out on the field and swinging their bats in Tanner's honor. We can't control what's going to happen behind these fences today. I don't know what's going to happen, but in between these fences and out here, you know, it's still the same game. The Rams brought Tanner's spirit with them during Saturday's season opener, starting the game with a moment of silence. Honor Ralston High School student Tanner Farrell and show our love and support for his family. Leaving a trace of their teammate everywhere you looked, on the pitcher's mound, their helmets, shirts, and even hanging up his jersey in the dugout, stepping up to the plate when things got hard. I'm so proud of how these guys have handled everything this week. Tanner's uncle says the family is taking each day step by step, minute by minute, using the outpour of support from the community to get them through his tragic death. It's really wonderful for our family to see how Tanner brought multiple communities together and, and led through quiet leadership. And holding on to the time they spent with their beloved number six. Remembering the good and the things that Tanner did uh, that, that are they're helping us get through it. Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7. Saturday's baseball game was free to the public, instead asking fans to donate to a scholarship fund in Tanner Farrell's honor.